Hey there, everybody. Lisa here. How are we doing today? I put out a little uh, blurb question in my stories yesterday and wanted to know what you guys wanted to learn this week. And so I got a lot of feedback with regards to uh, just with regards to mindset. And I think a lot of us right now, just with the pandemic, you know, it's been about eight weeks that a lot of us have been at home and kind of getting into that new normal right? And trying to figure out where all that fits into our lives right now and how we can sort of uh, weave our way back to some of the things that we used to be able to do or enjoy. And so, so I want to touch on that today and talk a little bit about that. A lot of times we experience negative thoughts, especially if we're stressed. Uh, and obviously right now with the pandemic, there's lots of unknowns and that can be super stressful and can cause anxiety. So one of the things that we always want to try and practice is a little bit of deep breathing, and that's an easy one. So, you know, I used to, when I was done training um, and I was under a lot of stress, I used to sit uh, on, a, on a jump box uh, and I would take about 40 deep belly breaths just with my eyes closed. And it really grounds you and just makes you feel uh, a lot more calm. And I find that after you do a simple breathing exercise like that, that really doesn't take very long, uh, you actually get a little bit clearer thoughts in your mind so that you can prioritize a little bit easier. Uh, it just seems to make it come to you a little bit, a little bit more simply, I think is the best way to put it. The other thing you can do because it's so beautiful outside is go for a walk in the grass without your shoes. Now, of course, we don't want to do this through the woods or anything crazy like that, but if you have a front lawn or a back lawn, um, getting out and just grounding yourself to the earth, letting your feet feel that lush uh, grass under your toes is just such an amazing feeling. And grounding with the earth is very important because that's our energy source. And so, so that really just brings us down to another level. And... And, and just makes us feel kind of that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. So if you've never tried it, give it a try and let me know how that goes. Finding a new normal is not going to be easy for some of us. And a lot of us are going to struggle. And it's part of the challenge because really nobody likes change. And so it's something that we really have to just embrace, take a deep breath, practice our deep breathing, and practice our gratitude. And gratitude has a lot to do with positive mindset. And so if we can take our focus off what we're missing and think about the things that we're gaining, uh, time, for example, right? Some of us have more time than we used to, to spend with, uh, you know, our close family, maybe even our pets. Um, I think my chihuahua is about ready to kick me out of the house because he's used to having his alone time, but that's a whole other story. But just thinking about what you're grateful for, finding out what those things are for you, jotting them down and keeping them in your mind so that you can, you, you can, the, the negative thoughts are going to come. It, it's inevitable. And, but what you want to do is be able to thank them for coming and then send them on their way so that you can replace it with something positive. So try some deep breathing doesn't have to be uh, an hour meditation. It can be just be five minutes with your eyes closed, deep breathing outside in the fresh air. Try going for a little stroll in your grass with your shoes off. Keep your eyes closed and just feel that grass below your feet. And then try doing a gratitude journal, either AM or PM, or you know what, maybe you want to carry it with you during the day and just jot things down as they happen. Because the more grateful you are, the more positive mindset you create. So let me know how it goes. Leave me some comments below if there's something you're already practicing for mindset, because I think the more we share, the more we'll be able to get ideas about things we can try for ourselves. Outside of that, visit my website. I have a mini workshop there for finding your new normal during COVID-19. And it's an excellent way to put yourself in the mindset of some new goals and have you prioritize on how your focus can change to meet those goals during the pandemic. Can't wait to see your comments and we'll see you next week.